With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, have a look at the question. Question is in E. coli, Karen's proved options are synthesis of leading strands of DNA requires many primers, semi-conservative mode of DNA replication, that during transcription both the strands of DNA do not get copied both 1 and 2. So if we'll see the Karen's, Karen's in 1963 Karen was a British physicist and the molecular biologist. He in 1963 uh, published a paper regarding the experiment proving the semi-conservative mode of replication. Semi-conservative semi-conservative mode of replication although uh, DNA replication and that in bacteria or particularly E. coli DNA replication in bacteria uh, previously uh, before the Karens two scientists they already proved that the semi-conservative mode of replication that was being proved by two other scientists that is Meselson and Stahl for that they also uh, got the Nobel Prize for their discovery that was in the 1958 that was radioactive labeled by using the different radioactive labels components and but after Meselson and Stahl cans through his experiment he also proved the semi-conservative mode of DNA replication and that was after the Meselson and Stahl. For this discovery, he didn't get any Nobel Prize, although Meselson and Stahl get. And he chooses a different method rather than the Meselson and Stahl. And he, by choosing the auto auto radiography experiments, by auto radiography experiments, he proved this semi-conservative mode of DNA replication. In auto radiography experiment, he chooses a Tritium thymidine, tritium thymidine that is a radioisotope of the thymidine and he labeled all the thymidine in the DNA with radioactive, this radioactive label compound and then follow the uh, process of the replication on a slide and then these slides were visualized, these were visualized on the photographic emulsion film. These emulsion were visualized on the photographic film. These were visualized on the photo, photographic film and then it show that based on that it show the semi-conservative mode of DNA replication. As per the semi-conservative mode of DNA replication, there were to, uh, as per, uh, according to the semi-conservative mode from a parent stand here I am showing that. It is a just a hypothetically DNA. It is a parent stand. From this parent stand, two daughter stands are formed. Two daughter stands are formed, but in each daughter stand, one copy will remain the same as that of the parent, while other will be the newly synthesized DNA. Like here, we can see that the green one, that copy is similar to the parent. We can say that the, this green wall, it is exactly similar to of the uh, parent, co uh, parent copy and it is uh, from the parent and the new red one that is the new synthesized strand. So that was a semi-conservative means half of the DNA that will conserve while the other strand will be newly synthesized. And this experiment was proved by the Cans after Meselson and Stahl and he uses a radioactive labeled method and Cans uses a auto radiographic method to prove that. Here we will see option. Option is synthesis of leading strand of DNA requires many primer. This is incorrect. This statement is although incorrect. Leading strand never require the many primers only lagging strand required. Semi-conservative mode of DNA replication correct. During replication both strand of DNA don't get copied. This is incorrect. Both 1 and 2 incorrect. Option B is correct. Hope you get it. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.